Lewis Change is a 1977 novel by the American author Sarah Davidson. It was so successful when it first appeared that it was made into a TV miniseries, but it's relatively forgotten nowadays. It's the true story of three women, Sarah, Susie and Tasha, one of whom, Sarah Davidson, is the author herself, and their different life experiences in the 1960s. It's incredibly frank. All three women were freshmen at the University of California, Berkeley. Afterwards, Sarah went on to become a journalist, Susie a left-wing activist, and Tasha went to work in an art gallery in New York. Between them, they experienced many of the central events of 1960s America. I first read this book when I was a teenager, and it had a profound effect on me. I've been interested in the countercultural movement of the 1960s for some time, but loose change woke me up to the fact that the 1960s was essentially a self-centred man's revolution. Quite often women were expected to take a back seat. Laudably, and as one might expect, the book makes no attempt to conceal that. It's an important document in the history of what's sometimes called second wave feminism. The inside front cover of my copy of the book makes a bold claim, yet perhaps not too bold. It says, loose change is not and does not attempt to be a social history. Yet future generations who want to understand what it was like to live in the 1960s in America will have to read this book to find out. To say it's not a social history is a fair comment. This is the story of three white women. As such, it can't really document the experiences of minorities during that decade, at least not directly. But it doesn't pretend to. Nevertheless, it's an important partial account of what happened. It covers a big chunk. Two or three similar accounts from representatives of different communities might well complete the overall picture, give or take a pixel or two. And that's saying a lot. It's out of print now, which is a shame especially since the 1960s, is a decade whose precise meaning we've yet to decipher.